Good morning, it's uh, uh, almost 6.15 uh, a.m. on the uh, 28th of uh, March, or Thursday, uh, 2024, and uh, I'm greeted with just a few articles uh, about everything uh, that's been going on for the past week. Uh, and about the only thing that seems interesting to me, and uh, maybe interesting isn't really the word, uh, maybe I want to say concerned. The only thing that concerns me in, in the uh, course of the, uh, uh, the uh, equivocations uh, that people deal or trade in, uh, is uh, is someone on the radio uh, saying that uh, uh, based on a confidential conversation with someone associated with uh, the Prime Minister and Tim Downing that, that, that he's beginning to say out loud that uh, well things seem to be uh, at an impasse in all directions and is it really my fault? I think that's symptomatic of someone who's not uh, stupid. I mean that's a question that someone should ask in effect. But it's no more than uh, someone in the pilot seat of an airliner saying well I don't know whether I'm really doing the right thing. And he looks down at his instruments to see what's going on. Am I going up or down or to the left or the right or some combination? Uh, uh, rather than assuming, you know, that in a fog uh, that he can navigate uh, without his instruments. I don't think Rusty's a fool. I think he shares the same optimism I did. You know, when I heard that he had seemingly uh, uh, somehow turned up at the right time uh, for the job and, and got the job, I thought, well, how about that? Uh, you know, things have been in, in, a ter in terrible shape uh, in London for a long time. You know, um, you know. For example, I I can't seem to recover from one thing or another. Where I happen to struggle, maybe struggle is not the right word. Uh, uh, there's something involuntary about my flailing around here. You know, it's not it's not because I want to achieve any particular thing. I, um, it's like waterboarding, you know, that, that's, that's a struggle. Waterboarding is no fun. And uh, politically, there, there, there seems to be that going on also uh, in other capitals. Uh, but, um, you know, look at, look at uh, Belgium, for example, uh, uh, right now. Or uh, so on. So, but... In London, uh, there seems to be a game of whack-a-mole ever since, you know, uh, the Brexit uh, uh, tragedy. Uh, and recovering from that hasn't been possible. It's like, you know, um, just kind of a, 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 a terrible wound and and uh, it's not that one decision then means that decisions now can't be made or something. Uh, well, decisions can be made, uh, steps taken, but everything now is in, in the context of Brexit. And so if, if the Prime Minister you know, said, well, is it my fault? Well, uh, one could trace everybody's pronouncements 
and political uh, commitments from Brexit, uh, for example, forward and start a blame game thing or something. Uh, um, but a lot of people have admitted they were wrong, you know, about Brexit and all that. And yet a, a lot are, are proud of what happened and think, you know, nothing wrong at all. Uh, I don't think the Prime Minister should uh, uh, should fail to understand what Truman did. You know, they thought he was history, uh, you know, uh, and so on. And he said, <laughs> people said, give him hell, Harry. Uh, and so he said, well, I will. I'll, I'll give him hell. And he talked about the do-nothing Congress. That's what he hammered home. He said, I can't do anything about this, that, and the other. Because <coughs> of the damn do-nothing Congress. And people pretty much got that message. Now, you know, nowadays, that, people take that for granted. Around the world, they say, well, everybody's do-nothing. You know, <laughs> so I don't know that it quite has the punch needed to make a difference, but it's a kind of logjam, you know. Uh, what can one person do about a tremendous logjam? Political logjam, I'm talking about uh, not, not legislative, it's not as though, you know, uh, that's all of it. It's, that too, it's, you know, but um, I've been like a lot of people who, who's been disappointed, but not at the person, not in a personal way, you know. And besides, I, you know, who am I to comment on the granular events of London? You know, I would suggest maybe some people could do better than they have. Uh, generally, I tend to be wary of uh, big corporate media because they really are just the PR, you know, the front office for the rest of the, what, some sort of chamber of commerce or whatever they have. Um, and that's really because citizenship around the world has been uh, uh, very feeble. People genuinely do not feel compelled or driven or interested in in, in the priorities that we used to think of as those of good citizenship. And it's awfully hard to uh, inculcate uh, values uh, that don't seem corny or quaint or boring and beside the point. Well, what is the point? Look around and see what people are doing. Um, it's all very, you know, Selfish? Well, I don't know. I wouldn't necessarily think selfish. You know, that implies somebody, you know, has some sort of perspective and is informed about what choices are made. I think sometimes people are just, uh, you know, sort of like you've got the remote to a TV in your hand and you just uh, surf the... Uh, channels uh, and uh, admittedly there's not much there you know so you don't you don't expect anything so it's not really that people are necessarily willfully focused and selfish it's just that things are just uh, mediocre you know a kind of malaise remember for some reason people thought uh, Carter was really smart uh, but then he said things like, well, we're suffering from malaise and turn down your thermostat and, and, and much that I could talk about again, but there's no need. It doesn't matter. But uh, I wouldn't want Rush to say, well, I guess this whack-a-mole that's going on is personal. Well, of course, whack-a-mole depends on uh, dealing, you know, one blow after another to on the matter of policies and, and, and they're associated with their sources uh, 
Uh, but uh, I think it's good that he's willing to say, well, is it my fault? I think that's a fair question. I think the resounding answer has to be, well, hell no. Not entirely. On the other hand, um, you know, uh, um, whack-a-mole is hard to deal with, political whack-a-mole. Uh, some people get very lofty about it, whether it's nihilism or nihilism. Uh, and uh, what can you do about that and so on well okay uh, you know but uh, there was something slightly different from all of that back in the day when Harry Truman who did not go to college I think he's the last president who didn't have a college degree he simply said hell uh, you know there are th things that have to be done let's think of some things that are doable well, uh, you know, this this business of the deep state and the strategies available to people having to do with this whole thing about Rwanda, I just think it hasn't been approached with a view about who can take advantage of uh, that mess uh, most easily. And... Um, There is something to be said about, you know, uh, handlers, you know, who, who deal with issues and, and propose things to the Prime Minister. And frankly, I think that uh, what happened during the Eisenhower administration, even this many years later, is still white hot in terms of uh, results around the world. And Eisenhower, uh, you know, didn't quite uh, have good advice. And the world is pay paying for that uh, fact. Uh, and like I've said, it's strange in a way to think that recovery from Camelot seems underway. But recovering from... Uh, Abilene or wherever else uh, somewhere in Pennsylvania and so on uh, recovering from the Eisenhower years is, is, is probably not possible until some of the uh, responsible entities uh, are uh, not able to um, cause a lot of trouble if they are even uh, noticed the way they might be otherwise but uh, I had John other than saying that for Rusty uh, you know uh, time is running out and, and Mr. Sernak is uh, uh, I hope willing to look around and see that there's nobody uh, that has better ideas uh, about problem solving but time is running out for example uh, uh, on the matter of Rwanda uh, I was thinking about what I said the other day what I said I think included some of the ideas that I think are operative but I don't know uh, quite how the game of uh, whack-a-mole is being played I think it's almost a sport uh, for some people, and I know that uh, Obama and Rusty have some common ground, you know. And uh, sometimes there's, there's nothing to be said, you know. Um, well, there's some things to be said, but maybe not what some people want to hear. And uh, if the whack of all people want to have somebody say, Uncle, which seems to be the case, uh, then uh, surely soon I uh, knows that uh, it would do no good to, okay, uncle, 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 so yes, so yes, so yes, uncle, uncle, uncle. But I think he could probably uh, have a team approach to 
uh, the game of whack-a-mole that is uh, what a part of the game and in, in, in some circles uh, I think I would look to the same people in charge of Brexit way back when and, and uh, it's true they won that bid and the UK is paying a price for that you know so uh, um, I think for example that Paul Wrestling and uh, with this ridiculous uh, 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 situation uh, whack-a-mole and the deep state and one thing or another uh, it can be said something or other like Truman did about do nothing Congress or do nothing Parliament or whatever also uh, you know uh, trying to pick up the pieces uh, after foreign policy throughout Europe has uh, kind of faltered uh, would that be a polite word on the matter of, of why there is the immigration problem why can't uh, he uh, speak uh, in English and by that I mean compelling English uh, about how so many could be so uh, sketchy about so much and thus have uh, so many people uh, uh, wondering what to do next um, no uh, I don't think uh, uh, Rusty is uh, uh, doomed by his own uh, failures I think you know there's a, a systematic problem and he's you know like any other uh, uh, more conspicuous than the failures who sit around in Parliament or anywhere else or in media unable to help uh, with this problem of uh, the ripening of uh, opinions and events to a point when uh, there is actionable information uh, developing options is sometimes important and uh, it's very difficult to, to deal with the third rail which is modern media but I, I don't uh, I, I have said I agree uh, you know time is running out you know with the election approach but I think that uh, you know whack-a-mole is going on and, and who's to say how to stop that Truman uh, had a similar problem. It wasn't whack-a-mole back then. It was whack-a-mole by the time Obama was in office. But Truman, uh, while he didn't have you know quite the complications uh, of the modern era, uh, understood that uh, he was not responsible for the fact that what he was trying to do had ground to a halt and that people were smug about getting rid of him uh, with no trouble at all. Remember who he ran against and how th people thought, well, you know, there's hardly any comparison, is there? Um, I think one of the things that can be broadly outlined that uh, is a little bit different from the Malays in the EU is, you know, uh, people might just, you know, in a polite way say, well, you know, we shot ourselves in the foot with Brexit and that has something to do with almost every decision that any uh, might make nowadays. But a lot of people don't want to admit that. And so... Uh, there are winners in the Brexit thing, and they're not what I would call uh, the, the uh, most admirable citizens uh, uh, that put a face on, on, on the UK. Um, 
But doom and gloom about Britain is not the same as, you know, what I face. I face uh, a situation uh, where uh, people have agreed to something and, and, and um, those responsible for redress are simply not interested. So, uh, well, I just thought I'd comment, you know, uh, uh, you know, there, there are many people who could offer advice. Uh, I think basically he's saying, well, uh, you know, would y'all prefer that I just walk away? <laughs> well, he's not stupid. He could look around and say, what in the, who in the hell is really better than himself for, for continuing? Uh, the only name that comes up in my thoughts is someone who's been thoroughly demonized. And that's Jeremy Corbyn, you know. Uh, if I mention him, people are just scornful and, and uh, figure that I'm probably out of my mind or something, but hey, that's okay. Uh, meanwhile, people over in the United States are still talking about Kennedy. That I have said, you know, that I'm concerned that he's going to end up like Ralph Nader. You know, this whack-a-mole thing means that uh, no matter what happens, uh, he could uh, be scorned like, uh, you know, a spiteful Nader. Well, Nader wasn't any more spiteful than any number of people in the world. But uh, only caution I have for for for, uh, for Kennedy is that he he watch out. There are people who will uh, ruin your career, your public career, uh, just for the hell of it. So while he runs, I hope he he's embraced the idea. He said. Hell yeah, I'm a spoiler. I'm going to spoil uh, the fortunes of Trump and but Well, that's a good campaign thing to say. But in all seriousness, as long as he runs pell-mell, flat out, you know, you know, I'd like to think that it would be just like Abraham Lincoln because we need something like that. Um, but failing that, I hope he doesn't accidentally uh, accidentally uh, uh, cut short his uh, what uh, his uh, his importance to many people uh, looking for an alternative um, even if he doesn't win I hope he could stay in the game legitimately but that doesn't mean that I'm predicting that that's the only thing he can do. I think there are ways to win, but I'm certainly not going to say uh, much about that. Uh, you know, I, th I think that he could become an Abraham Lincoln. I also think that uh, he could take a leaf from his uncle who thought in terms of going to the moon. Uh, there's no reason why a project such as the mobile vote option can't be something similar because that would be such a shot in the arm that would be uh, as uh, significant as just about anything but so far you know uh, it just seems like people think of that as a pipe dream and somehow absurd and besides there's enough corruption to fight against it uh, to make the whole idea impossible unless it becomes a kind of uh, you know we choose in the next decade to have the mobile vote option which will enable us to choose uh, what else really needs to be established haven't heard a word about it and now that I can say also you know uh I guess I just don't have quite the same urgency about what people are doing. You know, the, in my lifetime, the torch has been passed twice. You know, from generation to generation. And, and uh, 
I notice what's going on, and, and I don't. I, I'm like other people who say, well, you know, uh, not much for somebody like me to say about what people have decided beyond what I've said sometimes. Well, let's see. I've talked for 25 minutes. Well, because you know, I'm concerned. You know, uh, I'm concerned about uh, the EU and, and members too. Uh, but uh, gosh, there's a lot to be said about some of that. But uh, meanwhile, there's a uh, you know things are just, uh, it's as though they just keep misfiring uh, in London. Uh, and if uh, London is misfiring, uh, uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that, uh, that, that the Prime Minister's wrong. I mean, you know, um, the problems are, are not going to be solved by uh, any one person, although uh, one person can make a big difference. And he knows that. So I hope he's not going to quit without being able to say exactly why. For example, if he decides to quit, I hope he is chock full of information that would be helpful. You know, some sort of diagnosis or some sort of thing. Um, but I just don't see that as likely, you know, because uh, how much blame can people put on the Prime Minister? So maybe you could speak up and remind people of that simple fact. Well, I've talked uh, almost uh, 27 minutes. It will be. Uh, I'll say again, thanks for the good video. And uh, maybe I'll say something of more interest. Uh, garbage in, garbage out. And uh, that means that uh, maybe I should uh, not even pay attention to what? three-fifths of the stuff on the web, uh, but two-fifths is pretty damn good, isn't it?